All right, we are live. Good to see everybody. It's uh, once again another live unboxing. It's Andrew. It is Monday, August 21st, 2023, 6.02 p.m. Pacific time here in Las Vegas. All right, so I uh, hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you survived uh, Tropical Storm Hillary or whatever it's called at this point. Um, it did affect Las Vegas, although not very bad where I was, uh, wondering how whoever was in its path made out. Hopefully everything, uh, didn't, uh, wasn't destructive and hopefully you were okay. So, uh, my prayers go out to those who were directly affected. And of course, um, we have another live unboxing here and we're today we have the Dell Inspiron 77, Dell Inspiron 16 plus 7630. And this is a good one because this is a, a one of those interesting laptops that I think hits a lot of the good points that we want. A good price to performance ratio. It's got a nice discrete GPU, the NVIDIA G, G, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 in this particular one. We've got an H-series processor, the Core i7-13700H. We got a 2.5K QHC Plus display on this. So a lot of things are going to be the things we're kind of looking for. Uh, won't break the bank. It is uh, good for content creation, uh, presumably. Of course, we'll, we'll test it. We'll put it through its paces. So it's something I think that appeals to the masses. The one from last year, and I actually have it here. I'm going to return it this week, but I'm glad I held on to it because we can get a look at it. It's that green, green color. I don't forget which green it's called, but like a dark green. Actually, a pretty nice color. This one one's going to be the platinum silver, which of course will show the least amount of fingerprints. But before we get to the unboxing, I just want to say hello to a few people now that we've got everything underway. Good to see William. Uh, I made out okay. Uh, we had a lot of rain here in Las Vegas, William. Uh, we had some flooding, I think, by the Strip. But for the most part, I don't think Las Vegas was terribly hit. Could have been a lot worse. I know parts of Los Angeles have been hit. And, and according to you, of course, uh, turned out to be a nothing where you are, although the people who live in the hills had it tougher. Uh, but you had rain, much like we did here, and, and we had more last winter at times. So, okay, so we made out okay. Sounds like you did okay. So that is good to hear. Good to see Ness's Garden of Treasures. Good to have you here once again. We've got Yevan here. Yeah, he's excited to be here. I hope the screen doesn't suck this time like last time. Uh, the screen brightness you're talking about. Um, as far as the brightness, hopefully it will be good. It's usually, I think these are matte displays. I don't know which one this is going to be. Last year it was a matte display. Good to see uh, Raphael here. And we got Bob back here. So everybody is here. So uh, very good. All right, let's take a look. At the specs, uh, we're going to bring it onto the screen in just a moment. So let's do that right now. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a 16-inch display. It's a 2560 by 1600 or a 2.5K display, anti-glare coating, non-touch, 300 nits. And I think this one is 120 hertz. So we'll, we'll double check that. 13th gen Core i7, 13700H, 14 cores, 20 threads. We've seen that one before, and I actually like that processor. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, video memory. And it has 16 gigabytes, two 8 gigabyte sticks, DDR5 running at 4,800 megahertz. So it looks like it's upgradable. Of course, we'll have to open it up and see. One terabyte of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD storage, a six cell 86 watt hour battery, and it has Wi-Fi 6E with a Bluetooth combo card. Now, let's keep going here. Uh, get to the next panel in just a moment as that changes up here. And we're looking at a starting weight of 4.54 pounds or 2.06 kilograms. It's got a full HD 1080p IR camera. Should be IR. I believe it is. We'll double check that. Four tuned speakers here. Dolby Atmos. Waves Max Audio. Nice to see quad speakers. And like I said earlier, platinum silver is the finish on this. And there are the ports. We'll look at that in a moment. Now we're looking at a price of $1649.99 over at Dell's website. There is a link in the description below to 
go over there. There are not that many options on this, and I think that's good. It gets it very easy to order, and you can go up to the 4060 GPU. There is an option to go with the Intel Iris Xe graphics for those that don't need a discrete GPU because not everybody does need that. And there is an option for 32 gigabytes if you go with that Intel Iris option. I don't think, I, from what I understand, the, you cannot get 32 gigabytes of RAM option from the order sheet here or from the order page if you go at the 4060. So that's just interesting. But that's the specs here and the pricing. So for those interested, again, link will be in the description below. Now, if you go over to Best Buy, I believe there's last year's model on sale. So there are some deals to be had. I believe the last year's model is actually down to like uh, $500 maybe, I'm not sure. Again, check the link in the description below and also go to my video from last year if you're interested. Again, could be a good value. So you know the drill, folks. Without further ado, let's get this out of the box. Okay, so here we have the unit itself, but let's see what power charger they give us. It is a 130 watt power adapter, and it is a barrel pin connection. So it's a kind of a small barrel pin connection, and you get your extension cord. We're gonna weigh the we're gonna weigh this with the unit as far as a total travel weight in just a moment, and of course you get the unit itself and you get some documentation. This is just some sticker from the PR, PR team over Dell. And I wanna thank Dell, by the way, for sending this over. Inspiron 16 plus, 7630, and warranty information, yada, yada, yada. Dellsupport.com, you can get more information. And that is all that is in the box. So let's close this up. And of course we get the unit itself and we have the platinum silver this time around. Okay, and here we have this uh, pretty nice looking device. And, and again, this is their Inspiron 16 Plus. Uh, this is a, not, I wouldn't say it's a top tier premium one, but it is definitely a nice looking laptop. It's an all metal design. I don't see too much flex in the chassis. You can see it here. Um, you can see the side angle there. You can see the front angle there. And then of course you got some venting on that side and more ports on that side. We're gonna go over that in a moment, uh, but very, very nice. And of course, you can certainly open up this with one finger. Good to see Josh, who's in the air. Okay, Josh, who's flying. Hope you're going somewhere good. And he's watching from the airplane. Good to, good to have you aboard, of course. And, of course, have a safe flight. Hope, you know. All right, now. All right, so we have this here. This is uh, very good. And a quick boot up right off the bat. And as you can see, it is a matte display. So that, that I am a big fan of. And one thing I'm seeing is less screen wobble than last year. So this is the silver co color. And let's take a look. Here you can see the keyboard. And I actually like the way this looks, this platinum silver. So we got quad speakers here. I don't know if this is a heating vent or there's speakers there. There are two tweeters. I believe there are two woofers on this. It is Dolby Atmos sound. Now, here's your touchpad. I believe this is a plastic touchpad. It is a precision touchpad. Uh, feels pretty good so far. And let's feel the keyboard here. Let's give it a listen. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Everything seems pretty snappy so far, but of course we just Got our first look at it. Now it goes back as far as you see here, and you can get a look at it. Doesn't have a 180 degree hinge. Good to see um, Boston Elevators and Aviation. Good to see you, it's been a while. I'm glad you're here. Good to see Tech Realm once again. 
And of course we have Josh here. Uh, so good to see a lot of uh, our regulars. Okay, so let me uh, let me load it into the network here. My my you know my credentials whatever. So let me do that real quick. Okay. So we're connected up. Very good so far. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. All right, before we move any further, let's take a look at some of the ports here. So we're gonna start off on the left side, okay? And we have a power port in right over there. We got a heating vent there, HDMI 2.0, USB-A, which I like to see legacy ports, and a Thunderbolt 4 port, okay? I hope it's full function, we'll test that out. And then of course on this side is your micro SD card reader, a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack, and another USB-A port with another heating vent. I think it's a pretty nice port selection all, all in, I think here, uh, pretty good. Although would have been nice to have another Thunderbolt on this, but having at least one Thunderbolt 4 port that has been, that's good, I like that. All right, so those are the ports and Let's, uh, let me let me connect it up here, let's plug it in. But before we do that, let's get a, a measurement of the weight. So let's get that to zero. That's in kilograms. All right, so just the unit itself. And I was in the wrong microphone, if you didn't notice. <laughs> All right, should be good now. Uh, 2.174 kilograms. Okay, 2.174 kilograms, or 4 pounds, 12.7 ounces. And if we go back to kilograms, we have... Uh, total travel weight here. Let's add this on and then of course the charger that brings it all in at 2.647 kilograms or five pounds 13.4 ounces. So not the lightest thing out there certainly not the heaviest but definitely a nice laptop a general purpose laptop to take with you if you have to take it with you on the go. It's not going to really weigh you down that much although you will feel it in your bag that's for sure. Okay that's the measurement. And now let me uh, plug it in. So let me take the, the power charger here and we'll get that up and running. So we got the cord here. And again, this is that 130 watt barrel pin adapter. And I'm gonna use this one to get the most power out of it. So everyone doing lift up screen now. Yeah, according to Hoang, I guess so. I've always done it, so whatever. Okay, so let's uh, let's connect this. Boom, and let me plug this in. Okay. Okay, now it's plugged in, and it even lights up. I don't know if it did that last year, but it's lighting up this time, okay? And let me um, also connect this. Let's see here, so I can get my drive installed here with all the benchmarks. Okay. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, there it is. So we're we're connected into my uh, dock here, my uh, Dell Thunderbolt dock. All right, now let me uh, let me put myself down there. Let me now go to my drive here, and let me bring in some of these benchmarks. We'll do a Geekbench first, but let me just bring these over so we don't forget. And this is gonna again again we're looking at a Core i7 13700H. That's 14 cores, that's eight efficient cores and six performance cores, 20 threads on that. And then that is of course a good 
processor and looks like there's a driver available for the the discrete gpu and we got the 4060 here let's go to the uh device manager and let's just confirm that as we have 50 of you watching and let me go here display adapters 4060 that's good news okay all right let's go to let's start without your data yada 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 continue without this data good for me blah 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 confirm don't allow confirm okay this is uh, this is annoying you know thanks close we're gonna do all the driver updates later off air all right so let me go to geekbench.com and let me download it onto this unit that shouldn't take too long all right good to see everybody Two USB-C and one USB is the best. I, I agree. One, one more USB-C would have been good on this. Although, I think there's a pretty nice port selection. And it would have been nice to have a full-size SD card reader. That, that certainly would have been good. But we don't get that. Look, uh, do me a favor. We only have 21 likes, but 51 of you are watching. So do me a favor. Hit that like button. That would certainly uh, help this out and get more people to see it. Like the dark colored keys on a silver type laptop. Yes, uh, I agree, William. Better than having silver keys. Good to see Nadine all the way from Alberta, Canada. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Good luck, Dominique is saying this is not an Ultrabook too heavy. So it just depends on what you might need it for. You could do content creation on this. This is a 2.5K display. Now, last year, I think it was 3072 by 1920, if I, believe, if I remember correctly, 3K display. Uh, this one is a 2.5K display. I'm not disappointed that they went with a 2.5K display. I think you might do a little bit better on battery life, hopefully. So we'll see. Although, well, that remains to be seen once we actually run the numbers, but could be good. All right. Uh, if you have a question, put a cue before it. I haven't been enforcing that lately, so let's let's keep let's make sure we do that. And why not hit why not uh, hit the like button? It helps spread it out over YouTube. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, I think it's might be one of the uh, great things you might do today uh, because I have a lot of good stuff coming and super chats, super stickers give you a priority, and of course uh, memberships certainly help out on a monthly basis. Uh, what is the wattage of the NVIDIA 4060? So let's take a look at that. And while this is uh, downloading, that's a good question, William. So let me go to NVIDIA, control panel. Okay, let's agree to that and continue. Let's uh, minimize that. This display, by the way, looks pretty nice. I like the fact that it is a matte display. All right, so let's go to system information here. Let's uh, maximize that. Um, okay, so you can see it here. So it looks like maximum graphics power is 70 watts. Advanced Optimus, no. Dynamic Boost, yes. So 70 watts according to this. Okay, so that is that. Okay, let me take a screenshot to put that in the video. There we go. Let me close that. And again, I think it'll give it a nice little boost. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, huge amounts of graphics performance, although I think 4060 should be pretty, pretty capable. So we'll see. All right. So let's go to our download here. Let's open this. So let's get that installed. Now I'll check the Dell power settings and so forth, thermal settings. So we make sure we have it all on the right thing. So if I haven't heard too much fan noise from it, uh, so far, the screen is 120 hertz. We'll, we'll, we'll actually, we can take a look real quick. So let's go to this display settings because I'm kind of curious. I, it should be, yeah, 2560 by 1600 advanced display settings. Yep, 120 hertz. And good news, folks, it also has a dynamic refresh rate. You can, it'll switch between 60 and 120, but let's keep it on 120. And I think that's going to be good for what we need to do today. Uh, let's see later. All right, so let me go. First, let's go to the Windows settings and let's put it into the best performance mode. Okay. And then let's go to, I think the Dell, uh, not the power manager, the command, right? Yeah. The command center. Is it the Dell? Yeah. Dell. Actually, I don't even know which one it is. Dell command. Nope. 
Maybe it's some Idel. I always get confused between, I'm thinking of HP maybe. The Dell pair, I don't know what that is. We'll figure that out later. Okay, applications. This should have the power settings here. Color, display. We're missing the power here. Maybe I got to restart that. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Let's do it again. And then we can change it to the ultra performance or whatever the, the top, top one is. And hopefully that'll load in. Otherwise, we'll do a reset. My Dell, yes. Thank you, Baba. Baba Clark. Okay. So we got applications, color. Where's the power? So we'd have the power there. Maybe it's on a different thing. Maybe we need to do a restart because it should be like over here, right? Yeah, let's do, let's do a quick restart. Let me put it on me for a second. It's starting to get a little humid. This is very humid here in Las Vegas as we're restarting this. Um, and you can see, of course, this is a very nice matte display. Very nice. Yeah, it's been very humid here in Las Vegas. And I think obviously it has to do with that tropical storm. Hillary that has already passed and so forth. All right, so let's restart that. Sometimes it, it does that. But I want to make sure the power settings, if not, we'll run it the way it is. And of course, I'll update all the drivers, software, et cetera, once, the, uh, once I'll get that full review for you. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. And nice looking laptop also. And again, while we're looking at that, actually, here's the last year's model. And this is the green color. And again, you could see here a little bit more uh, fingerprints on this one. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but and I haven't updated it, but I like this color. It's like a, like a deep green or a sea green type of color, I think. Dark green or whatever they call it. Dark moss. I don't remember what they called it. And here you can see there's the keyboard. It lifts up. They both lift up. Uh, and there they are. You can see it here. All right, so let's see here. Let's go to the My Dell. And let's see. Hopefully, it'll have the power in there. Unless it's on a different app. Dell Power Manager? I don't know. I don't see it. All right, let's just maybe let's just leave it for now. Maybe it'll show up later. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go to Geekbench. Let's just get that loaded up. So this is the green versus the silver. What do you think as far as the colors? You can see here uh, a little blown out because of the silver there. You can sort of see it there. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. The displays look both look pretty nice also. Let me, uh, let me bring that up here a little bit. You can see it there. Let me zoom out, zoom out a little bit. Uh, pretty nice. I think this is the 3072 by 1920. This is 2560 by 20 by 1600. Raphael, this is 300 nits, uh, according to Dell's uh, press materials. I'll, of course, do my own measurements and get you that numbers. All right, let's do the uh, CPU benchmark. And this one, I didn't do Geekbench 6. Let's, uh, let me see if I could download it real quick. Maybe we can get a comparison on this one. I don't think Geekbench 6 was out last year when this um, when this was uh, released, this, this unit. Yeah, the hinge is different. Uh, this has more screen wobble than this one. They did something different on the hinges. You can see it here. So I think that's a good change here because this had more screen wobble. You can see it there. This one, a little bit more tighter hinge, a little less screen wobble. Although a little bit, but not quite as bad. That's pretty good. Let me go to the My Dell from last year. Let's see. This one, if we were able to get the power setting there. Starting service, okay. I guess it's loading in. Yeah, it's definitely different. Silver is much better, according to Yevhen. Okay. This I haven't really updated in a while, so I'm not really expecting much out of this. Uh, this one is running the Geekbench 6.1 right now. 
So you could go to power there. Power manager settings. And here it is. So here's the thermals. Right now it's on ultra performance on this one. Where do I get this on this one? It's very different. I think there's updates that need to be happening. Okay, we'll figure it all out. Okay. So this is loading Geekbench 6.1. I want to see what we'll get on the scores here. Um, this obviously has a, a better GPU. This one had the 3050. Let's see here. Last year, this, let's go to the device manager. Last year's model had the, let's see here. So let's go to display adapters, the 3050 Ti. So this had the 3050 Ti, 4060 here. And as far as the TGP of that one, NVIDIA... Let's open the control panel, agree and continue. And this one, can you search power manager? Yeah, I'm gonna try it once. Let's get this first test done. I did earlier, but I, maybe I didn't do it right. Okay, so let's go to the system information. I wanna see the wattage on that. So the wattage on this one was 65 watts. This was 70. 4060, and this is a 3050 Ti. Good to see tech for your needs. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm going to have to search that. We'll, we'll see. And you like the new wallpaper. I do, too. I think it looks nice. Very classy. Okay. I hear both fans going now. So a better GPU, I think, this time around. But we'll see. The proof is always in the numbers. Let's load in Geekbench. This is not plugged in. We're going to have to plug this in. So I don't think we'll get as good of a score. I, I may be able to plug it in with this 130 watt USB type C. Let's see what happens. This is a Dell charger here. Let's see if it can take it. Yeah, it should. Looks like it's charging, so maybe it will give us enough juice. Okay. So let me finish with that. Boom. Question from William. Is this year's model a two-in-one unit? The hinge looks like that, or is it a... No, this is a clamshell. The two-in-one we actually looked at uh, a little bit earlier, a couple of weeks ago, the 76, the one with the... Um, 7635, the one with the AMD Ryzen. Okay, I just wanted to zoom out a little bit. And we had a pretty nice score here. Okay, so let's take a look at that right here. It's a 2516 single core, 13,072 multi-core. And again, I have to find out where that power setting is, but that's a pretty nice score nonetheless. Uh, pretty good. Because remember, if I did the My Dell. Good to see our good friend, Digital Slang, in the house. Oh, look at that. What do you know? There, it just decided to show up, huh? I guess I needed to update it. So we'll, we're going to run that again. But let's uh, see. Right now is on Optimize, but let's go to Ultra Performance. Okay. Everybody go to Digital Slang's channel. He's, a, he's got some great stuff there. All right, let's close that. So that's a pretty good score. Again, did I take a screenshot? I'll take one anyway. All right, let's run that again. Now with that ultra performance enabled. In the meantime, let's uh, let's run the CPU benchmark on this one. But let me change it. You can see what I'm doing here. Let me change it. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's best performance, and we already put it on the ultra performance. So let's uh, let's hit the CPU. Uh, benchmark so we can get an idea. Last year, Core i7 12700H. This year, Core i7 13700H. 12th gen versus 13th gen here this time around. So now this is going to give us a good score. So I thought the initial score is very good, but now I want to see if we'll see a difference 
in any way with this score will get now that we put it on the ultra performance mode. Okay. So there again, this is a different colors, of course. And I like, there's no stickers on this one, by the way, I like the fact that there's no stickers. This one was, uh, inundated with stickers. So pretty good, pretty good so far. And I, again, like, I agree with William. I like these, the like, gray keys, dark gray versus the silver finish. And this one had dark keys versus dark, so it wasn't much of an issue. But you definitely will see less fingerprints on this time, this model with the platinum silver versus this moss green. All right. So good to see everybody while these benchmarks are running. And we got our, oh, we got the whole gang here. One bad man is here. Good to see you, my friend. All right. Shocking that there's no stickers, right, uh, Raphael? So a couple of things. I will be going to Berlin. I'm going to IFA next week. Well, yeah, it would be next week I head over there. Uh, I will be there for about a week. And then um, looking forward to it. I've never been to Berlin. So I hope to enjoy the city. I hear good things about it. So it would be very great uh, to see all the sites as well as, of course, uh, see what's new at IFA in 2023 trackpad needs to be a bit bigger and wider proportions are off um you know it does look well i guess are these the same size i think they do look the same i do agree it could be a little bit bigger for a 16 inch uh so far it hasn't really been an issue do these does this one look bigger than this one uh let me know what do you think Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I do like the fact there's not a lot of stickers on here. Now, as far as the keyboard layout, now this is a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner, as indicated over here as well. Um, this also has an IR camera. It does have a physical shutter switch on both models, one from last year, one from this year. So that's good. They went to a full HD last year, and I thought it was very good. It was a nice improvement over the 7610 that we looked at uh, the year prior. And then this one also has a, a full HD webcam as well. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. It looks bigger, but I think it's the color, according to what I've been. I think it might be the same. I, I, I'm not quite sure. It looks from the eye test. Yes, I agree. The trackpad. So the, the trackpads look different. It looks different because there's a little bit of a, there's no line there. Whereas you have it on here. It's like a diving board style versus the more traditional style here. I agree, Raphael. I think it could be bigger as we're waiting on these results. This one I haven't updated, so I'm not expecting the best possible score, but at least it'll give us an idea. Again, I didn't, there was no Geekbench 6.1 last year, so we used, I think, Geekbench 5.4, or whatever was the last of the fives or whatever at that point. Touchpads are the same size, but different design. They made a, quite a few different changes here, right? So the, the touchpads look different. Uh, I think the, the hinge design is redesigned here, uh, and I think it gives it a little bit more stability, less screen wobble. Last year, it does seem to move a little bit more. So we get an updated score. A little, I think it's a little bit higher here, about 300 points higher. 2560 on the single core and 13,341 on the multi-core score. Okay, so let me take my screenshot. Waiting on this one. So this one should be done very, very shortly. Uh, Mike Maz is asking battery life. I have no idea. We just took it out of the box. So I have no idea what the battery life is going to be. So this is pretty interesting. So this is a big, di this is a difference between 12th gen. Look at the look of those crap from edge. Look at this. Look at that crap from edge. Okay. 11,965, 13,341, 2392 single core, 2560 multi core. So uh, you're seeing a little bit of a jump here, multi core performance, single core as well. So definitely an improvement, not a huge improvement, but definitely improvement nonetheless, year over year. So that's the score there. All right, let me put this, let me, let me, let me bring this, take this off the, the uh, live stream here. Let me shut it down. We we'll, might bring it back later. 
uh, some updates it's going to need to do at some point as well, I'm sure. So let me shut this one down. Let's uh, focus on the on the new one here. OK, so here we go. All right, so now let's uh, let's run a couple of more benchmarks. Let's uh, let's take a look at the SSD. Actually, I'm curious to see how the speeds are here. This is a one terabyte. Let's go to the Crystal Disk Mark test. We extract that. Yeah, you know, I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. Let's uh, load in this. All right, so this is one terabyte, and let's let's get that going. Hopefully, good. Uh, hopefully, we'd like to see Gen four speeds. But again, we'll see. We'll see. Should be Gen four, from what I understand. So, of course, we want to see close to seven. Yeah, fifty two sixty seven. That would be Gen four. Okay. So far, going up a little bit. That's good. 300 nits doesn't seem to be very bright, but one thing you got to keep in mind, Raphael, this is a matte display. I, mean, I just I bumped up the brightness. Actually, it looks pretty good as far as brightness. Again, uh, for indoor use, you're not going to have any issues. I can tell you that right off the bat. And in fact, it's even a little too bright for this camera. I have to lower it to about 50%. So here it is. And I got to tell you, it's a nice display. It's a very nice display. And I'm hoping for a little bit better battery life with the move to a 2.5K display, 2560 by 1600, as opposed to the 3072 by 1920 we saw last year. And that, of course, both of them being 120 hertz. We do have dynamic refresh rate on this one. I'm not sure about the last year's model. I'll we'll have to double check that. I don't remember, but we can check that out. But again, having the dynamic refresh rate will automatically switch between 60 and 120 in terms of the hertz. Indoor use should be okay, absolutely. Gen 4 speeds so far. Yeah, I would say these are Gen 4 speeds, Raphael. Can you cook with this, according to Mauricio? No, you cannot cook with this. And I could tell you right now, it's not hot on the bottom here. I'm just checking to see. And power adapter. Not very warm either, so that's a good sign. It's not drawing. But again, we haven't really pushed it all that much. We did run the Geekbench, although I think we have more intensive uh, tasks to run on this that will certainly push the CPU, GPU. We'll see how it heats up. So far, thermals looking okay. Again, I'll take measurements and, of course, thermal performance. Uh, we'll see if there's throttling. I'll test for all that. We'll test the gaming performance. You know how we do it here. Mark Anthony Dela Cruz, same powerhouse with HP NV16, I think. So the NV16 does compete with this, I guess, um, although you may get a few different options with the NV, of course, but so far, this is looking pretty good. And that was an absolute steal, the NV16. I think we saw it as low as like 1099 when they were running that sale over at Best Buy. I know a lot of you picked up that deal. Uh, that was really good. So that is one you want to take your uh, keep your eye on because if you can get that at really, really discounted price, that is an absolute steal, folks. What about the fan noise? So far, not too bad. We're going to get a measurement of that when we run the Cinebench R23 later. Uh, we'll do a modified five-minute test here. Okay. So far, looking pretty good. Uh, good reads and writes, especially if you're going to do content creation on here, you're going to do things, gaming on this and so forth. Excellent reads and writes. This is certainly more than enough. You will not be disappointed in these reads and writes. So Gen 4 speeds, that is always good. We got Gilad Katz here. Well, could you do a, re a review of the Lenovo Slim Pro 7? I need a laptop. I already did that, Gilad. Check it out. It's on my channel. I did the Slim Pro 7 with the AMD Ryzen processor. So check it out. All right. So we're just waiting for the this to finish. We'll take a look at the camera as well. We'll just go, we'll do that right after this. And then we'll run the Cinebench R23. As we have 42 of you watching, we got 42 likes. All right, that's good. If you want to give a super chat, super sticker, it certainly helps out the channel. And especially if we're going to have the um, Surface devices coming in October, I guess. So 
Uh, I will have to buy them. I'm not getting review units once again. That's par for the course, as I mentioned on on the last live stream. Uh, so anything helps certainly will help support the channel. You got it, my friend, Gilad. Okay, so yeah, because we're going to do it. We're going to do the Surface Laptop Studio 2. We're going to do the Surface Pro 10. Are we up to 10? Yeah, I think we're up to 10, right? And then laptop six and yada, yada, yada. You know the deal. All right. So these are the, re the results here. And these are pretty good. Let me take my screenshot. All right. Now that we did that, let's uh, open the camera. So far looking good. Everything's looking good. Okay, so this is the camera. You can see it here. Let me go to the settings. So let's go to the video settings, 1080p. Yeah, it's a 1080p camera. That's good. And this is looking pretty nice, pretty sharp, I think. Let me know what you think. I'll test the microphones, all that in the, in the video, but I think it looks pretty good. You can see it here. So I, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. It is. Let's uh, let, let's also double check to make sure it is IR. I'm pretty sure it is. But let's go to the settings, login accounts, sign in options, face recognition. So this is not an IR camera. We couldn't find it. Oh, that's interesting. I was sure it was. So maybe I have the wrong information. So. We'll have to double check that. I don't think it is. So it does have the fingerprint scanner. The power button doubles as the fingerprint scanner. Good thing I checked. So it doesn't look like this is an IR camera. And again, I'm not, that's okay. That's fine. Camera looks good. I agree with William. Uh, you can see it here. So that's the camera. Okay, so that's done. And it has a, a and if you can see it here, there's a shutter switch on the top here. Let me see if I can show you. And you can see it there. So that's the shutter switch. It's a physical shutter switch, which I like. That certainly will come in handy if you need some more security and performance. You can hear the fans. Okay. Yeah, I have good microphones. We're going to test that fan noise in a moment. So hold your horses, guys. Uh, Slim Pro 7 is uh, finally with Zen 4, still with the 3050, but it is with the Zen 4. Hopefully I'll get one to review. I did the, the, the one I just did, but that was Zen 3. All right. So let's, uh, let's load in. And you know what? It's a good time to do the R23. We'll do the modified test. And let's let's extract that. Let's get that going. And I'm gonna do also, we're gonna test the fan noise. We're gonna test the 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 external, the surface temperatures with my thermal camera. And thank you, Raphael. Yeah, please hit the like button, people. Let's get this spread out over YouTube. This will certainly help the algorithm as we have about 50 of you watching. Uh so why don't you do me that favor? All right. You've liked it. You know, if you like it, hit it. Why not hit that thumb? It doesn't cost anything, right? All right. So that's uh, low, that's extracting right now. Is anybody going to be in Berlin next week for IFA? Let me know. Okay. So let me load this Cinebench R23. Let's accept that. I hear the fans already going. All right, let's go to the advanced benchmark. Let's go to uh, the setting, the preferences, and let's do custom five-minute test. Okay, and let's uh, let's do five minutes, and let's start it. Okay, so let me um, let me load in the camera here. So I'm going to take out my FLIR imaging camera here. Hopefully uh, it's got juice. I'll use my pixel fold. Okay. And there it is. Okay. So
So about 46 degrees right there. Okay. Let's do the underside. About 46 by one of the fans over there. Not too bad. Actually, about 44. That's not bad. Okay. Let me get a side shot here. So about 47 where the heating vent is. And then on this side. About 46 where the power plug is. Where, where this USB Thunderbolt cable is plugged in. 45 around that area. Not too bad. All right, let's measure the uh, fan noise. I do hear the fans at this point. So let me get my meter ready here. So as far as the surface temperature is not too bad. But of course, I'll do more testing to see if we got throttling and all that stuff. All right, now let me, uh, let me get this done. So you're looking at about 55 decibels, which is noticeable under heavy load. There, there's no doubt about it. You definitely hear these fans. Now, is the whine on the fans bad? The whirl? Not bad. Not bad. But you definitely will notice it under heavy load. Did David uh, Gilulis here. How are you? Integrated IR with a present section to... Yeah, I don't know why it's not, I guess this particular one maybe doesn't have it. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, that's why I originally, according to the specs, it should have it, right? So maybe it is an IR camera. I just didn't see the option there. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll investigate that. But thanks, David. You're giving up, according to Craig G, you're giving up a lot on this compared to the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. Geekbench 6 is lower, slower SSD, half the RAM, no mini LED. You know that, that Lenovo Yoga 9i, Yoga Pro 9i, it's excellent. I loved it. It was one of my favorites so far. And then you're, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the 16, or we did both the 16 and the 14. Both are in the running for laptop of the year. I thought it was that good. Um, this is what, 600, 1650? And that one's about what, 1800, I guess? Depends on which one you go with. I I've, I don't remember what the the um, the the 16 inch version was, but um, you know it's just a matter of what you are looking for in terms of the the display is much better on that mini LED. That's a premium display. This is a, this is a nice display. This is a nice 2.5K IPS display, but you it, it will not be as good as that mini LED. I can tell you that right off the bat. That's a big difference. Now, numbers-wise, it's going to be uh, some interesting comparisons. I'm gonna, I'll look at the numbers. I think that's a more expensive device, but I think the fact that it's an, a mini LED might justify it. So far, pretty nice score here. 12,276 multi-core. Let's do the single core real quick. So Mauricio 
returned his 7620 because of fan noise. Even at idle, it would be annoying, although the temperatures were okay. So, again, like I said, it's a trade-off here. Fan noise versus temperatures, right? So you want to... I don't think I'm seeing a lot of throttling here by, based on that 12,276 score, uh, but I think we'll have to test that. I have, I'll, I'll do the, the uh, 3D Mark uh, Time Spy stress test to see if it throttles. I'll bring you the numbers, see if it passes or doesn't pass. We'll, I'll let you know. Speaking from, from experience, according to Rafael, Dell is notorious for having loud fans. Right now, they're slowing down a little bit on the single core score. Not quite that loud. When I was running the multi-core, it was very loud. In fact, let's get a measurement while it's running the single core. That might be a good way to see the difference. So that's a big difference, 40 decibels versus 55. So when you're doing single core, single thread tasks, it's not going to be that bad. When you're doing multi-core, multi-thread tasks, you will definitely notice 55 decibels. So pretty interesting. Geekbench, uh, Cinebench 23 was over 17,000 on the Yoga Pro 9i, correct? Oh, he bought the 14.5 inch, 14.99, and that's a that's a good deal, my friend. And yeah, like I said, I loved it. I love that. I gave it an editor's choice, right? I believe I did. Should have. Very good. All right, so. We'll get this single core score. It's right now about two more minutes or so. Let's take your comments and questions. Thought, thoughts on the Lenovo Yoga 7 Pro Intel version without GPU for coding? Well, without GPU, you're going to lose some of the graphics power. I didn't review the Intel version. I did, uh, I did the AMD, right? I did the AMD one. And I now, from what I understand, it's now outfitted with a Zen 4 CPU versus Zen 5. Uh, Zen 3, rather. Oh, yeah, look at that. 17,842 is an excellent score for the Yoga 9i Pro. Yeah, Craig, it, I love it. I have it here. I have the 16-inch as well. Both were very good. But that mini LED, I mean, what can you say? It's, it's gorgeous. Now, this display is very good. Now, what I like about it is the fact that it's a matte display. And by the way, this is the five-minute modified test, so just keep that in mind. And I didn't update any of the drivers or anything. And there was an update already for the, I saw it earlier, for the NVIDIA graphics driver. So take what you're going to see here with a grain of salt. This is not the final numbers. I just want to make sure you're aware of that. As we have about a minute to go on this test. And we have about 45 of you watching. We got 49 likes. How's everybody doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Let's take a look here because the integrated, the IR camera, you know, let's just take it real quick. Let's go to, again, this was kind of weird. Face recognition. This option is not currently available. I'm, not, I'm sorry. We couldn't find the camera. So is it not on this or is it on this? So according to the specs, it is on there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Let's wait till this test is it's almost finished, and then we'll take a look at what the deal is. And, and I'll, I'll reach out to my rep Adele to find out what's going on. Good in Atlanta. Okay. Glad to hear that. 
that things are good in Atlanta. Okay. All right, we're almost done here. And I think we'll do a sound test as well. And then maybe if we have time, we'll open it up. We're right now at about an hour, about 57 minutes or so. And then we should probably wrap it up after that. Fan noise may come down to a bit after all the drivers are downloaded. You know, it might. It might, Raphael. Again, um, fan noise, I guess, was an issue last year. So we'll see how it is this year. But I tell you, it's a big difference right now. I could tell you from just listening between the multi-core test and the single core here. And there's a big difference, about 15 decibel difference. Maybe the system needs update. Yeah, no, there's no question there's updates going on that need to go on here. Uh, this is just a rough and dirty, just right out of the box test. You never, this is not the final result. And I'll bring that in the upcoming full review. But again, 12,276 is not a bad score, you know, without any driver updates, with this connected to HDMI and all the things happening in the background. And I didn't check for McAfee or anything like that. I didn't see any pop-ups. I don't know if they use McAfee or one of the other ones. I forget, but we'll, we'll see. Almost there on this test. And again, this is a, a five-minute modified test, so just keep that in mind. Let me just check the stream, make sure everything's looking okay. Yeah, it looks like everything's uh, streaming okay. Yep. Babak is saying all the numbers could be changed after driving. Yeah, no, they, we'll get better. I'll get a, the numbers will go up. There's no question. 1813 was we got we just got our single core score. So let me take the screenshot. Uh 12 12276 as an initial benchmark for multi-core and 1813 for the single core. Okay? There you go. So let's close that. And let's um let's uh let's test the sound. What do you say? All right? So th this is quad speakers. Let's go to Dolby if it has Dolby, it should have Dolby. I don't see the De the Dolby app. Let me go to the My Dell. Audio. Equalizer. Let's see here. So let's see what we can do. Output speakers, Bluetooth. Equalizer. We could set it to... I don't know which one to set it on. Right now it's off. What is this? Default. Let's put it to electronic. I don't know. I'm just picking one. All right. Let's uh, 3D audio is off. R renders a high quality surround sound experience through your headphones. We're not really dealing with headphones, so we don't really need to do that. All right. Let's uh, let's minimize that. And I don't see the Dolby app here. But it does have Dolby Atmos, from what I understand, I guess. I don't know. According to the specs, that's what it says. All right, let us uh, let me load in. Let me put it on me. Let me get to the Epidemic Sound. And let me load in my account here. Okay, we we'll load it in. All right, so let me uh, let me put it down here. Let me unplug this. Okay, and let's we can keep that. We can keep the plug on, but we can unplug that part. All right, so let me uh, let me raise the volume here to 100. percent We'll see if it sounds decent. I hope. All right, let's pick a. Let me go to my save sounds here. Sounds like the performance with the power supply should, yeah, 130 watts should be more than enough. 
All right, like sounds. Okay, so it's it's okay. I, I mean, I tried to play with a little bit of the settings with the equalizer. Sound is overall fair, not the greatest. I agree with William. It's not bad, um, but I thought it could use a little bit more oomph. Uh, again, I have to play with the settings. Not bad. Let's be clear. It's quad speakers. Now, from what I understand, I thought it's supposed to have Dolby Atmos, uh, and I didn't find any setting for that. So... In fact, let's bring up the specs, which I took from the press materials from their website, actually. So the, as far as speakers are concerned, let me move over to that. Uh, here we go. So let's uh, pause that. So it says four tuned speakers, audio processing by Dolby Atmos and Waves Max Audio Pro. And that's from their website. So uh, I didn't see any Dolby Atmos setting although maybe i'm looking in the wrong place but uh, i'm going to investigate that and the other thing is it also showed an ir camera but not in the settings in the laptop so i have to find out about that as well all right let's uh let's see what the user upgradeability situation is so let's uh let's turn this off and then i'm gonna open it up for quad speakers it should do better okay Again, in all fairness, maybe I don't have the right settings, but it wasn't bad. I just want to be clear, wasn't it needed some a little bit more punch to it, and I didn't hear it. All right, so All right, let me uh let me bring out this kit here. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, T5 torque screws. You couldn't, Dell, you couldn't do more. How about a few extra screws there, huh? That's a lot. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining, but well, sort of am complaining, but all right, let's uh let's get to work here. Wrong, wrong bit. Hold on. Maybe I'm using the wrong. You know, it's not T5. It's uh, Phillips. That's why it wasn't working. Now it should work. Okay. 
This should be better. Let's see. And it is. And it's going to be an easy one, I can tell. Now, I don't know if these are captive, but we'll figure this out right now. Let's see. I don't know. I don't think they are. Maybe they are. But it's sort of just lifting up right off the bat. Let's see if this one is this one comes out. Yeah, this one this one comes out. And then we have these. Nine in total Phillips head screws. One more. And then those top ones, I don't know if they come out or not. They, they might. So I have to be very careful taking this off. All right, so... Let's take a look to see what the situation is. Let me let me see if these come out. Yeah, these come out. Okay, this one's done. Okay, so let me be careful. So this goes over there. All right, here we go. So as you can see, it's got two fans for cooling, two sodium slots. Yes, people, that is good news. And... These are some of the speakers here, okay? 86 watt hour battery, replaceable Wi-Fi card, that's good. Here's your SSD, and these are your sodium slots. Right there, and right there. So eight and eight, that's 16. I guess you can go to 30, 32, potentially. Although you can't order it with that unless you go with the integrated Iris XE for whatever reason. Okay, so that's there. And then let me switch to this camera and get the close-up. The money shot, as they say. Okay. There we go. And let me put the lid back on. Make sure everything snaps into place. Okay. Actually relatively easy to take off the lid. So good news when it comes to the upgrade ability, I agree with David. And being disappointed with that HP we just did, where they removed the sodium slots that we got last year on the X360 15.6 inch Envy, uh, not, I was not happy about that. And you can tell from my, my voice that I was not happy about that. And one of the things that set that one apart was not only the price, but upgradability options. And then we no longer get that. So that's that was disappointing here. I'm glad to see Dell makes it uh, consumer friendly here to be able to upgrade not only the SSD, but the RAM. And that's always good. Good option. So far, this is a very impressive laptop. And again... They're going to run sales on this. So if you could pick this up at a really reduced price, this is an absolute steal, in my opinion. 
because of what you're getting. Uh, good price to performance ratio here, even at that price. Although I would probably wait till it goes on sale because last year's model right now, you can get it for a fraction of what it was going for. And that is an absolute steal. So a lot of people were very interested in this one last year. We'll see the interest this year. So far, I like the moves they made here. I think we're going to see hopefully better battery life. But the move to going with the 2.5K versus the 3K display. So everything is screwed back in. Looks good. Nice, nice job there, Dell. Okay, we like that upgradability. So very, very good. Hopefully I didn't short anything. Hopefully this will turn back on. <laughs> so let's keep our fingers crossed. But anyway, so that is the laptop. And get good news, folks. It did turn back on. <laughs> I always, there's always a few seconds where a little nervous uh, energy there. Does the XPS 13 have higher nits than this model? Yeah, I believe the XPS 13, uh, the plus model should be about 400 nits, right? And I think for the OLED, it's 400 nits. For the IPS, I think it's 500 nits, actually. So even higher. So it just depends which model you go for. But this is actually pretty nice, uh, folks. I really like this. Looking pretty good. According to William, it seems like the more expensive model of PCs, the less upgradability in general, like soldered in memory. And it seems like that's uh, upgradability is going by the way of the Dodo, the way of the dinosaurs, it seems. And that's disappointing, to be honest. Um, it's not consumer friendly. It's more for the bottom line, right? They want to be able to keep selling you um, next year's model and not having that ability to upgrade certainly uh, limits the uh, limits your consumer ability, the, the ability for the consumer to upgrade. And I think that's a little disappointing, actually. Not, and that's a little, it's quite, quite a bit disappointing. Does USB-C power work? Yes, uh, it does work. I'm going to test it out right now. This is my Thunderbolt dock here. Let's put it into the USB Thunderbolt port here. And it is charging, according to this. So it is... Uh, Game Pass turned on for some reason. Okay, let's go here. Or actually not there. Let's see what it's... Uh, battery status fully charged. Fully smart charged. Yeah, so it's char the it, it's showing plugged in. So it does seem to work. So you can charge this via Type-C. So that's good. Let me try a different one. Here's a... Here's another one right here, and this one is showing as well. It's that it's uh, plugged in and it should be charging. Yeah, right now it's at 100%, so fully charged. But yeah, it, the USB Type-C looks like this supports power delivery, so that's good. Watching from the Philippines, all right. Nice to have our international audience being able to come into the live stream here. Maybe, according to William, maybe it's imaginary Dolby speakers and IR camera. Maybe. <laughs> it does say it on their website. Let me, uh, let me plug it in. Let me show you that it's not just... I don't think it's me, but you never know. So let's go... Let me plug this in. Let me uh, do a search here from, from Google here. Let's see. Let me go to google.com and let me search for Dell Inspiron 16 plus 7630. Okay, so let's go to the, here we go, Inspiron 16 plus, Dell's uh, website here. This is the, this is it. This is the 13700H. Uh, we did the 4060 here. Okay, there's two options, one with the GPU, one without. We've got the 16 gigabytes of RAM, platinum silver. There's the, there's the display. And then there's the specs here. And let's take a look. So maybe I'm hallucinating, but it does say here the camera integrated widescreen, full HD 1080p camera with dual digital microphone array enabled, integrated IR with presence detection. 
So I don't know if that's a separate model that they haven't released. I don't know. And then the other thing is, look at that. Four tuned speakers, audio processing, uh, audio processing by Dolby Atmos and Waves Max Pro, Audio Pro. So I'm not sure if it's, let's see if we put it on the Iris XE. Maybe it's, maybe it's only available with the non-GPU version. Um, let's, let's, let's see what, let's see. This is 1,099, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Let's, let's see what else we can go, go with. And then does it give you an option? I don't know. This is kind of uh, interesting. Options with informal price, options with inf information icons require changes to other options. Okay. So doesn't look like it has it on here, but according to the specs, it does. Watching from the Philippines. Okay. Remember, according to William, even though this has one USB-C port, one does not need to charge this through USB-C since this is charged through the barrel, barrel pin connection. Yeah, no question. They've got presence detection in a few laptops now. How would this compare to the Precision 5570 for non-GPU-related performance? I didn't do the 5570, so I can't really comment, but that's a different uh, different audience altogether, a different segment that it's going to cater towards. That's a professional uh, mobile workstation, whereas this is a consumer-based uh, laptop. So this is a very different uh, use case scenario. It doesn't have the same drivers. Those are ISV certified drivers. This is basic, your basic, you know, consumer level drivers, less security options and so forth, a whole host of other things. Always appreciate the insight on your reviews. I work IT for my local city and was able to get, able to talk to my director to buy me a work from home field laptop, really like the Dell Inspiron 14 Plus. Hopefully I'll get the 14 Plus as well. This is a really nice laptop. This is a 16 plus, but very curious. Uh, IR camera is not is missing on this one apparently, and there's no Dolby Atmos. I don't know what's going on. It says it's supposed to be there. I'll ask Dell. Not a huge deal, but just something. I'm pretty curious actually. The sound wasn't bad. I just have to play with the equalizer. I think. But we'll see. We'll see. Again, we still have to do our full review on it. Uh, right now, we're at. An hour and 20 minutes or so. I think we're going to wrap it up here. We saw pretty nice performance. Again, I didn't update any of the drivers or just take whatever we got here today with a grain of salt. Uh, but I want to thank the moderators for doing such a great job today. Once again, thanks for everybody participating in the chat. And I will keep this up, of course, as a replay. I do have something pretty nice coming tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow, but probably Wednesday. I will do my live unboxing of the Asus ZenBook Pro 14-inch laptop with the OLED display, of course, with the GPU and everything. It's the Pro version. We did the 16-inch. We, we're getting in the 14-inch, so looking forward to that. Got a lot, of, a lot of other stuff as well on the way. So until next time, folks, I'll see you in the next video. Have the great rest of your day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.